We're going to have the uh, motors plugged into slot 1 and 6 before starting. And we're also going to go into the system settings initially, which is by holding the menu button while turning on the actual controller itself. Once we get into here, we're going to go into model select and make a new model. Sometimes the model can be different, uh, so just in case, uh, we're going to model select and make sure it's on acro. We now are going to want to go down to channel assign. In, in channel assign, we're going to go to the next page on the bottom right and go to aux1. And in a, an aux1, we basically want to change it uh, from a D to a throttle. While we're already in the settings menu, we're going to bind the robot. To do this, uh, we're going to need to, uh, you can go down to the option, but don't hit bind yet. Uh, we need to get the actual receiver into bind mode, which you can do by just holding down the receiver. Then you should see it blinking. If not, you can restart it. Uh, then we hit bind, and it should start binding. I don't even know what the fins actually do. They stabilize it. Now that it's bound, you should be able to see that when you allow to push forward a throttle, and both both wheels should turn. If they're going in opposite direction, uh, it means that you probably need to reverse the the motor, which you can do in the settings. Next up is going to be we need to make sure that everything is zeroed properly. Uh, meaning that if you look at the at now, it says there's a negative eleven. We basically want to make sure that it says zero. So I'm going to go back to the main screen and head over to a monitor area where you can see there's a negative 11 on the elevator. Um, we're going to hit the trim and we're going to push it up so then it be zero. If it's positive and you want to push it down so it's negative. Uh, so it goes down. We're now going to head over to mixing and the function list. And we're just going to a PM. I won first of all, and we're going back to normal. We're going to want to set the first thing to rudder, and then the second one we should set to AX1, as you can see. After they're both set, you better can go down to your rate, and we want to make these both 125. We can put a, a switch on to a on like A, for example, and then we can basically turn on off the left and right movement if we want to, but it's not necessary. Alright, now that that's done, you can now see that whenever we move the uh, thing right and left, the one, the one wheel should start moving. So now we basically want to now bind the left wheel to also move the opposite direction whenever we go left and right. So for that, we're going to go back to mixing channel 1, go back to normal, and now we're going to set it again to rudder, but instead of the second one being AX1, we're going to set it to throttle. And now this one, uh, because we want to make it move the opposite direction, we're going to make it negative 125 instead of positive. All right, uh, that's all done. We can now head back. Uh, it should be bound now. So when we push it forward, both wheels move. When we push it backwards, it should go backwards. Uh, when we go left, once it's been one direction, you have to spin the other. When we go right, uh, the opposite should happen.